Hello everyone, and welcome to our Let's Play of Death Call, a seven-day roguelike by McCoy Madsen. This was a seven-day roguelike made for the 2018 seven-day roguelike challenge. For those who don't know what the seven-day roguelike challenge is, it's an annual competition wherein the participants are challenged to make a brand new roguelike in the span of seven days or less. Um, why are we playing this game? I saw it in my big long list of roguelikes. I've got like a couple hundred lined up in my folder ready to play. I saw the name Death Calls, thought that sounds intriguing, gave it a shot and thought that was fun, so I thought we'd share it now. Let's press space to start the game. Now what is Death Call about? Well, there is no manual, there is no text file, this is the sum total of what we know about the game. You are Death Caller, a warrior tasked with destroying the callers in the world. Callers summon unnatural horrors which must be eradicated. That's the game. Here's the full rule set. 1. Killing callers, marked by a letter C, will create a portal, marked by a greater than sign, to the next caller. 2. Kill enough enemies in a level to get an ability, up to 1 per level. 3. Try to kill callers quickly so they cannot spawn more enemies. Remember, they're summoning unnatural horrors the whole time they're on the screen, or on the board, really. 4. Kill all 10 callers to complete your task. So that's our victory condition. Kill 10 callers and we win. During the game, hold H in the game to display helper controls. Press space to enter the first portal. Let's do that now. And boom! Here we are inside our death call game. Uh, here's the full map that we're looking at. Uh, not the full map of the level. This is all we can see. The at sign, handily us. The red markings are monsters, in this case goblins. Here we have some grass. Here we have some stone tile. Here we have a tree. Um, how do I know all that? Well, let's hold down H. Take a look at our help menu. So when you hold down H, and again, it's not press, press H to toggle, you actually got to hold it down. You get your full um, breakdown of your rules again, and the controls. Number pad 5 or period to pass your turn. When you're passing your turn, your, stra your stats regenerate faster than, than when you're just moving around. Your, your health will come back, your stamina will come back as you move around. It comes back even faster if you pass your turn. You can use the arrow keys or the numpad keys to move. Although if you're not using the numpad, you can't move diagonally. So I advise using, using a numpad where possible. Shift L toggles look mode. You can move uh, then a cursor around to inspect different positions. One through three is to activate an ability. Shift one through three is to pick up an ability. Control one through three is to train a specific stat. We'll come back to that in a second. Enter to confirm your target if you're in target mode. Escape to close your look or target mode or to close the game. Let me emphasize that last one again. Or to close the game. There is no save game feature in this game. If you press escape when you're not in target mode, it just dumps you out. And matter, a matter of fact, I just tried to record a game session of this. I got about halfway through and pressed escape by accident and crashed the game. So keep your hands off the escape key unless you absolutely need it. Now let's break down what we got, what we see here. Over here is our stats. You only have three. You have health, that's your hit points. You have stamina, when those get too low, you can't keep fighting. You just automatically miss every time you swing. Uh, and it goes down every time you swing. Uh, your strength dictates how much damage you do in melee combat. There is no inventory. You're not finding any new weapons. Your strength is the sole dictator of how much damage you do in combat. Matter of fact, you might do damage equal to your strength, I think. Um, now, how do these stats go up? There is no experience points. You don't have a character level per se. Um, remember, if we kill a caller, it opens up a portal, which is a greater than sign, a staircase in a traditional roguelike. If we take that staircase, we go to the next level, where there's another caller. Uh, every time you go to a new level, one of your stats will increase. And which one will increase is based on which one you're training. Right now we are training health, but if we held down the control key and pressed 2, we'd instead be training stamina. If we held down control and pressed 3, we'd instead be training strength. Um, so you get to choose what stat you want to increase the next time you go to a new level. Um, your abilities, we don't have any yet. We'll come back to that in just a second. They're very, very important. This is the turn number you're on. I suppose turn could function as a high score for you. Uh, the mission in the game is to kill all 10 callers. That means you have to progress through 10 different levels, one caller per level. When you've killed the 10th one, you instantly win. Um, and the only real scoring system would be how short, how short a time did you do it in, how few turns. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could keep an eye on that, but we're not going to be too concerned with that right now. This is the type of terrain we're in, forest. The first three levels are forest. The next three levels are barren. The final four levels are hellscape. Uh, really all that dictates is a color scheme and which monsters you face. 
For now, we're on forest. We have this beautiful color scheme. I quite like it. And we're facing goblins, and there are also skeletons out and about. <clears throat> okay. Now, remember, well, there are really two priorities you have each time you go to a new map. Obviously, yes, you want to kill the caller. You want to kill it quickly, because the whole time it's on the map, it is summoning monsters. Not every turn, necessarily, but every few turns it summons a new monster. And if you don't kill it fairly fast, the board will begin to fill up with monsters and make your life pretty difficult. Um, there seems to be some luck involved in how fast you can find that caller. That seems to be a big... Uh, part of the game. I've only played the game three, well, I guess three and a half times because my last game I dumped out. Um, my first two games, admittedly, I died. The third game I beat it. It's not that hard. We can beat it inside of one play session here if I stop talking soon. And, uh, um, but I don't know how much luck was involved in, in my, my win because I don't know if I found the caller particularly fast. It might, might be really the deciding factor. For now, Let's look at our secondary priority. Remember, killing the callers is the way to get off the level. Kill all 10, you win. But you also need to kill enough enemies in a level to get an ability, up to one per level. Now, how many monsters do you have to kill? It varies. Usually on the first level, it's like one. But uh, I've been on some levels where you have to kill like seven or eight. There, we kill the goblin. You can see up here, you hit the goblin for 10 damage. That's why I think it's based on your strength. A goblin died, and ability scroll was dropped. That exclamation point is the ability. So let's step on it. And now it tells us here, we're on a scroll of phase door on a patch of grass. Press shift plus one through three to swap the ability for a scroll of phase door. Our abilities are all, are all empty right now. Let's press shift and one to pick up the phase door into our slot number one. And we'll come back to that in just a second. Let's kill this goblin. Now, before I use the ability, let me tell you, as I said, there's no experience points. There's no inventory. There is no treasure to find. The only thing that you can find is one ability per level. We've already found everything we're going to find on this level, so our only objective now is to kill that caller. There's no reason to linger. I'm going to show you phase door in action just because, why not? We're not under any real threat right now. Do, I do want to call your attention to the fact that we got hurt there a bit. Uh, our health is currently 97. Um, let me just move once. There. Oh, twice. There, our health is back up to 100. Right now, every two steps, our health regenerates a fair amount. Um, your stamina is also down because we fought. Uh, but if we keep moving, there, our stamina is climbing as well. Uh, if we waited... It goes up every turn, I think. Yeah. So it's every turn if you wait, every other turn if you move. Now, if you press 1, we'll use our face door ability. Face door just teleports you randomly. It's like a blink scroll. So there you go. We, we hopped from... There's where we were. You see with the yellow square. Here's where we are now. And um, <clears throat> every ability has a cooldown period. In this case, we can't use that ability again for 11 turns. There was no reason to use that ability there. I just wanted to do it to show you it. You use that ability to get out of danger. If, if you're truly in danger, it might pull you out of trouble. Now, again, there's nothing else for us to find. We want to find that caller. Now, I want to call your attention as well to this funky um, view perimeter. Your view is circular. Uh, how, how far you can see is sort of circular or ov ovular in nature. Um, I love the way it sort of fades out at the uh, extreme edges as well. It's a nice little uh, graphical effect. <clears throat> now, the caller is somewhere on this map. I don't... The map seems to me to be taller than it is wide. This is not the top edge of the map, necessarily. This is not the bottom edge of the map, necessarily. This is the left edge of the map. Um, you can tell that because... Here, watch down here. When, I, when you see this uh, groovy circular... This groovy circular area right here. As you move left, it fills in a bit, but it, nothing else got filled in here. So we are at the left edge of the map right here. Finding that caller quickly, as I said, is important, but you don't know where he is, so you want to quickly navigate the map, and I find it's best to position yourself with one edge of the screen in sight. We can't really see the right edge of the screen here, I know that, because I, if I keep going right, you see there's more being revealed. But we can see the left edge. So if he's on the left side, if the caller's on the left side and we walk north, we'll eventually bump into him. If he's too far on the right, we won't. And here we've reached the top of the screen. So let's switch over to the right side. There's a goblin there. Let's navigate past this stuff. You can't walk through the trees. The caller himself is uh, immobile, by the way. There's an S for a skeleton. Skeletons are a little bit tougher, it seems, than goblins, but not much. Took three, kill, three hits to kill. Um, there is also a look function, and I want to point that out because there actually is a small bug in it. If you hold down Shift-L, Shift-L, it says we're standing on a patch of grass. You can see there's now a little cursor under my at sign. But you can navigate that cursor around using the numpad. If we put it on, say, this goblin, it says, okay, 
you're looking at a goblin on a patch of grass. If you move it to this as, as a hashtag, it's a tree. It's an immobile thing. This green is grass. This is stone tile. On the first level of the game, there doesn't appear to be any error with this. And to be clear, no matter how deep in the game you go, when you put your look, your look uh, target on a monster, it always tells you what the monster is you're looking at. That always works. But as we go down, I'll show you again later. Sometimes you're pointing at a piece of grass and it says it's a, it's a wall. Or sometimes you're pointing at a tree and it says it's grass. Um, seems to be some small error. Now to get out of look mode, you have to press escape. Remember, press it once. Press it twice and you're going to regret it. Because it will dump you out immediately out of the game and you can't get... There's no, there's no save. You can't get back in. I'm seeing a bunch of skeletons down here. I'm guessing the caller might be down here somewhere. Often, like he summons monsters near him. Yeah, he is. So when you see a cluster of monsters, you might be getting close. Let's go take them on. You'll see our health and stamina are both going down. We might have to teleport out of here. Might not. You'll also note that the AI of the monsters is pretty weak. That's probably a good thing, or else you'd get overwhelmed and, and killed pretty fast. But they really kind of try to move towards you, and as soon as they hit an object, they basically stop. Even this goblin isn't moving down for some reason to get closer. He's obviously trying to go to the right and can't. But if I get beneath him... Now I'm beneath him, you'll see him as he's coming down again. Let's kill this caller. The callers themselves are immobile, as I say. They are also, um... They won't fight back. Watch, I attack him. I hit him, he doesn't do anything. His only ability is he's summoning monsters, and he's also the key to our victory condition. Oh, I don't have enough stamina to keep fighting. You can see our stamina's down to five. When I'm trying to attack, it says you miss. So we want to get out of here. The skeleton can hurt us, we can't hurt it. Let's press one to phase door away. Yeah, we ended up up here. I'm going to press uh, the 5 key a few times to pass our turn, get some stats back, and then head down and take on these monsters again. We need to get out of here. 1, phase door. Alright, we're down here. Let's pass our turn a bit. Get this goblin, pass our turn a bit more. Let's get over to that caller again. We're having a rough time in the first level. That's a little surprising. There you go. We killed the caller. The skeleton moved on it, but as soon as you kill the caller, you open up this door, this staircase, this... I don't know where he came from. And we're out of here. Um, go on the staircase, press shift and greater than. Boom. We're on the next level. I love that piano sting. I also love the little damage sound when you kill monsters. Now, you see, we got to a new level. Our training improved our health by 3. So we now have 103 health instead of 100. It goes up by varying amounts. I haven't yet determined if it's random. I think it's not. I think it's a, I think maybe you get 3 points in the given category on the first level, and maybe 4 on the second, and 5 on the third, or something like that. I'm not sure. But my strategy that won me the game in the past was I trained health on the first level, then I switched over to strength. So I'm going to control and 3 to train my strength up. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned there's some luck involved in the game. A huge piece of luck just broke for us. Here's the caller right here. We're not going to have a trouble finding him. We do not want to go and kill him right away. And I'll tell you, well, maybe we do. We can kill him. We don't have to leave. Let's go kill him right now so we can't keep summoning monsters. All right, no more monsters. But the reason we don't want to leave yet is we don't have our new ability. Remember, you can get one new ability per map. I'll have to kill a few monsters to get it, though. Let's go kill one of those goblins. There we go. Here's our new ability. Once again, it's Phase Door. In my experience so far, every time I've played the first level and the second level, the ability has been Phase Door. Let's press Shift and 2 to pick that up. So we now have two Phase Door abilities. One in the first slot, one in the second slot. Press 1 or 2 to use either one. And while it will take 11 turns to recharge, we still have the other one as a backup. So we have two abilities to, recharge, to uh, Phase Door out now. The third level, I usually find a lightning bolt, but I think it's—I think I've seen other things once in a while. And look at that again—we got really lucky. Here's the caller. Uh, yes, our strength went up by four. So so far, it seems to be on the first level your your ability goes up by three. The second level, your ability goes up by four. Let's find out when we go up the next one if we get five points or not. I don't know. We want to kill a couple of monsters to get a. Let's go kill the caller first. What am I doing? There's the ability. And it is lightning. I love lightning. Let's take shift and three. So by shift and three, we put lightning in the third slot. Now what does lightning do? Lightning is an ability that throws a lightning bolt. Um, it can throw it a, a great distance. I'm not entirely sure how far. It seems like maybe up to 20 squares. 
and it does 30 damage, so it does plenty of damage. We don't need to use it right now, but I'm going to use it just to show you it. I'm going to press 3 to pre cast lightning. Now, when you press a number uh, to, to cast lightning, it jumps the cursor to the nearest enemy. So you can see we're targeting the skeleton. But if we wanted to, we could move that cursor over to the collar or whatever. I'll, I'll take the enemy, uh, the skeleton out. So when it's on the enemy you want, you press enter, and boom. You hit the skeleton with lightning for 30 damage. A skeleton died. Lightning again, ready in 11 turns. Not all abilities take 11 turns to regenerate. Some take uh, longer. There we go. 14 damage. Killed him with one hit. That's good. Now let's find out how much we get when we go to the next level. That might be an error too. Uh, you saw we, we killed it. It said you hit the skeleton for 14 damage. The skeleton died. I pressed right again and it said it again. I'm not sure why. Might be a small glitch in the game, but not a big deal. We're on the portal. Let's go to level 4. And our strength is now 20, so we get 6 when we go to the next level. I'm not sure what it is. What if it's 2 plus... I don't know. I don't know what it is. It does seem to hold, though, in my last few games. Uh, I got 3 on the first level, 4 on the second, and 6 on the third. Let's keep training strength for the moment. Now, you can see we're in a totally new area. We're in barren instead of forest. What does that mean? Um, I mean, there's a color change. <laughs> the palette changed. <laughs> Functionally, these things work exactly the same. These are hashtags. You can't walk through the hashtags. These are periods. You can walk through floor. That easy. There's only three uh, terrain types. There's hashtags, periods, and staircases. That's it. We do face new monsters here, though. You can see an H. An H is a madman. Presumably, they're a little tougher than skeletons. They do seem to move a little more erratically, I think. I could be wrong about that. Oh, he's dead either way. 20 damage is enough to kill him. And we got our new ability. What is it? Whoops. A scroll of restoration. Interesting. Let's take that. Let's shift it for our old phase door. I don't know what restoration does for sure. I think it might give us our health, but let's just get hurt and find out if that's the case. Let's get hurt, guys. <clears throat> he might be over here, because I see a lot of... No, he's not there. All right, we're hurt. Let's try restoration and see if it does anything. Our stamina is 90. Our health is 84. Does it help? I don't know. Uh, because we also t uh, spent a turn, so it might have just been a regeneration. I don't know if it does. It might regenerate our other scrolls. Like, let's let's try casting lightning in a second. I don't want to waste too much time because I'll lose the game if I don't uh, if I don't pay attention to playing this properly. Let's try it though. Let's try lightning. Let's go to the other guy because we're going to go to the left. Let's take him out with lightning, and then let's try restoration and see if it uh, helps that. Two. Nope. I don't know what restoration does, guys. It didn't seem to really help our health. Maybe it does. Hard to say. I'm going to save my lightning bolt. I don't need it yet. I don't want to waste it if I don't need it. He doesn't seem to be on the left side. Let's head down the right side. Oh, I haven't been watching. Are we doing 20 damage when we hit? Yeah, so your strength is equal to the damage you do. All right, right side. Let's head down to see if we can't find this collar. I think he's down below us here. Judging by the skeletons coming up here en masse. Yeah, there he is. Okay, interesting new feature of the game. New monster. A control mage force teleported you. A control mage force teleported you. So we know phase door teleports us voluntarily, but these M's are force mages. They can teleport us against our will. So one of them teleported us. It looks like we were here. We got teleported to here. Then the other one teleported us from here to here. Now we want to take out one of those right away so he doesn't keep force teleporting us. Let's use our lightning bolt on one of them. Sure, that one's fine. He's dead. Let's go hack apart the other one quickly. We're also getting hit now with a new guy. A wizard hit you with lightning for 15 damage. This is a wizard, a W. Wizards, like us, can throw lightning. Theirs only does half as much damage, thank God. Uh, but it does do damage uh, from a distance. And they can shoot right through walls just like we can. So you got to be a little careful of them. Let's kill this force mage, kill this skeleton, and kill that wizard. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of the collar now. Alright, we're on level 5. I still don't know what restoration does for sure. I'm going to try it again. If we go up to 103 health, and if our stamina jumps more than 5, then it might be helping that. 
or I jumped 10, but that's because we passed our turn, really. I think that's all it is. Yeah, I don't know, man. Not sure what restoration does. A little uh, cluage there would help, guys. Um, whoever made this game, I forgot his name already. Ma McCoy Madsen? What does restoration do? Tell me in the comments below if you know. I have seen a spell that uh, that did massively restore your health, but I don't think it was called restoration. It was something else. There's a wizard getting us. Where is he? Let's press Shift and L and we'll look around and see if we can't see him. He's way up there. I'm going to press Escape once. And I'm going to press 3 for lightning. And take out that wizard. Boom. And there's our ability as well. Let's go up there and get it. Hopefully it's either another lightning or another restoration. I don't want that because I don't know what it does. I'm not playing this very well. I just crossed across the center. Which means I'm wending and winding. There he is. There's a the caller. There's a force mage and a wizard. Let's get rid of the for the wizard rather first. Because he can actually hurt us. The force mage may even help us if he teleports us closer to the caller. Right? He did, actually. Let's head down. See if we can't take out that caller fast. Alright, level 6, guys, we're cruising. There's our caller. We need to kill something. Let's kill him fast. Let's get rid of him. There we go. Now let's go kill some H's to grab our new ability. Again, another lightning bolt would be nice. Barring that, I wouldn't mind that thing, whatever it is, that gives us full health back. Full restore. Let's take that. Shift and 2. That will bring our health all the way back to full I don't know what restoration does. All right, let's head down to level seven. Here we are in the hellscape. As you can see, we have another color change. If we press Shift and L, very careful not to escape wrong out of this. Saying stone tile, hot earth, just so you know what things are. If we see a saying grass, that ain't, that ain't grass or a patch of grass. There's uh, definitely some errors there. Escape once. Okay. He really should, uh, let's change our, we don't want strength anymore, let's change to, uh, let's change to health. Well, let's change to health. Shift in one. All right, we're now, oops, we don't want to do that, not control in one. We're training health again. Uh, what are these, uh, monsters? Let's shift in L, look at them. I get nervous pressing shift in L because I have to escape out of it, and I hate escaping out of it in case I, uh, mess up the game. It's a baby drake. There are two new monsters facing us, as well as the wizards are still here, the force mages are still here, but now there are baby drakes and dragons, neither of which seem to have any special abilities. They're just tougher monsters. But with our strength where it is, it's not a big deal. Let's see if we can't kill one more of them, or a couple more of them to get a... I know you're saying this game looks pathetically easy, We've gotten really ridiculously lucky with uh, with finding our force mages, or rather our for, for force mages, our callers, right off the bat. That's been insanely lucky. Um, if you don't, geez, it takes a, it does take a while to kill some of these things to to get your ability, I guess, or it can rather. Lightning didn't kill that guy. It takes more than thirty damage to kill. Forty six will do it one hit though. Where the fuck's our ability? Hey. It's going to be a very empty map now, because there's no, there's no new monsters being summoned, and we've killed almost everything. It'd be interesting if, we, if by killing the caller, we screwed ourselves out of being able to get the new ability. Although, to be honest, full restore seems to be about the best ability there is. It takes 20 turns to recharge. I'm not going to use it arbitrarily. We don't need to use it right now, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Nothing left on this map. Oh, one, 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 two bees. Two baby drakes. It looks like the, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's, uh, phase target. No, I'm happy. Phase target, um, is a spell that when you use it, it,
teleports a monster away. So it's it's not as good as lightning in the sense that it doesn't damage the monster, but it's better than lightning because, as you saw, lightning, you might have to hit them once or twice or even three times for certain monsters to kill them. Or maybe at least twice to kill them. Um, whereas phase target will, will teleport them away with one hit. So it's guaranteed to remove the threat, uh, if not kill the threat. Uh, let's head down to the left. I don't see a collar. Can, can we look around and see if we can see if we have a view of the collar? I guess we do. He's down to the left. Okay. Whew. Our health has gone up. <clears throat> Again, very, very lucky in finding this guy pretty fast. He's dead. Let's look for another ability. Because why not, right? There we go. Yeah, I'll take that. Shift and one. So we have two lightnings and a full restore. Let's go down to level nine of the hellscape. Again, can we use shift L? And again, it does make me very, very nervous. So he's not visible anywhere that we can see. Escape once. Our health continues to climb. Let's climb up the right side. It seems like maybe there's one type of monster set on the map at the beginning. Like on level one, goblins are in place, but the caller can summon skeletons. It seems like, hey, here we go. A firebomb? That's new. Let's try it. Shift in one. And let's try it on this baby Drake. For 50 damage. Ooh, and an area effect. Okay. It takes a long time to recharge, but it's pretty cool. That's new. I didn't know there was that. I've never seen the firebomb before. So he's not, he's not in the top left right here, right? We've gone to the top right. No, there's still room to move. That's the top right, okay. Here he is gonna be over here, because I, I can tell by this mass of monsters. As you can see, he summoned skeletons, he summoned dragons, force mage. Let's get rid of that force mage right now with a three key for a lightning bolt. It's dead. And let's start moving over. Keep an eye on As soon as our Lightning King can come again, we'll, uh, oh, fuck me. A dragon hit us with Firebomb for, f for 50 damage. Okay. That hurt. Let's cast two. No, we got a good clear shot of them. Let's, yes, let's do that. We're going to cast, we're going to do full restore with two. We're going to do a one of our own to try a Firebomb right here. Looks like I killed a few of them. Let's get rid of this force mage over here. Oops, I meant to uh, three lightning to get rid of this force mage. Let's hack apart this dragon, this dragon, this mage. This baby Drake, baby Drake. Oh shit! Dragon hit us with it. Yeah, that's interesting. Their breath weapon killed them too. So dragons do have an ability with that fire. We gotta get the fuck out of here. If they hit us again before we can heal, and they probably will, we're gonna die. Let's pass our turn. Kill it manually. Let's get out of here. All right. Looks like you might get your full health back as soon as you leave. I'm not sure. My health is definitely back up. Maybe it's because I trained health. I'm not sure. All right. This is the last one. If we can kill this caller, we win the game. Can we see him? Is he down below in any way that we can see? No. Escape. He really should change that escape key off of the, uh, <laughs> off of the, uh, uh, key that instantly ends your game because it is very easy. Huh, a wizard's getting us. Where's he at? It is very easy to accidentally press it twice, and that's quite upsetting. There he is. Once. Let's lightning bolt that wizard. All right. So dragons are something else, man, with that, uh, that breath weapon. There he is. There's a final caller. Let's just go get him. Let's kill that wizard. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. And there we go. You hit the caller for 46 damage. He's dead. 
I guess it's not as soon as you kill him, it's as soon as you leave the level. Victory, boys! You have destroyed the callers and vanquished the horrors. You took 1,543 turns to slay all 10 callers. I think I did it faster last time, I can't remember. I don't know if I wrote it down anywhere. I guess not, darn it. Um, it doesn't have a high score or list or anything. Now, one other last interesting feature. I'll just show you, but then we're going to quit the game. Great job. Thank you for playing Death Call. Press space to continue in infinite mode. So if we wanted to, we could keep playing and uh, presumably go until we die. I don't know if the game instantly gets harder. I've not tried it. And I'm not going to try it right now with you guys watching. That was certainly, I'm sure, at least a half hour. Um, but there you go. It's a nice quick game. You can find it. I'll include the link below. It, it was a 2018 seven-day roguelike challenge. I think it did a really swell job uh, for a seven-day game. It's a lot of fun. Um, not something you're going to play a lot. Once you sort of get the hang of it, it becomes quite easy. Having watched me win, it might be a little too easy for you to win, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, I lost my first two games anyway. Good luck to any of you playing. I'll talk to you all soon. I'll have a review of this up in some point. Uh, it'll be a brief review, of course, because there's not a lot here to... Not a whole lot here to talk about, but good job. Um, McCoy... McCoy Madsen, I believe your name is. I don't know how to get to the uh, title screen without... Uh, without ending this, so I'm just going to quit here. See you guys.